Alright, hello everyone, my name is Master Sermon, and welcome back for more Let's Play Super Mario Sunshine. Let's spray this a few times. If we can actually show the most of this- okay, fine, just actually open it up here. We're gonna be going off to the second main world of the game today, Rico Harbor. One of my favorite worlds in the game, personally. Gooper Blooper Breaks Out. As a kid, this mission stumped me for so long. I could not beat this mission as a young kid. It's kind of a strange one. I don't even think this mission's necessarily, like, hard. But... Let's see from here, but I'm sure of it. Hmm. There's kind of a lot of moving parts of this level here, and... I will mention if you're going for blue coins, there is actually, I think, a... Yeah, there's an M down there. I think that only shows up in this mission, and same for... I can kind of see it there. There's an M over there, too, that also only shows up there. Um, the game kind of wants you to go this very long-winded way to get through here. Um, kind of tests a lot more of your, like acrobatic abilities and stuff. Uh, you don't actually have to go this way, though. Um, it's only just kind of what I'm showing for the intended method here. And I think there's also another blue coin you get from this here, if I remember right. If you raise this all the way up here... Some of these are only in Mission 1 here. I was kind of alluding to this a few videos back where certain stuff... Yeah. Certain stuff only shows up in certain missions here, but... It's kind of the intended way to go this way here. And if we jumped on... Or if we sprayed those guys, they would kind of create platforms for us. But... It's not too bad otherwise. And this crane will raise more of this platform for us to stand on. And that's pretty much the intended way how you're meant to go through here. Not clip through a floor, because this game's weird like that, but... I'm actually gonna show you an alternate way to get up here, which is probably what I'd be doing a lot more. Actually, there's a few alternate ways. Um... You can do a jump like that to get up here. Or... If you climb up on top of the smokestack here, you can actually jump up to this blue beam up here, and if the camera doesn't get in my way, yeah, you can easily climb up this way as well. I'm gonna store my water here. And yeah, that's honestly fairly simple. It was actually this boss that I had some issues with. Mild spoiler, this is definitely just a boss fight, but... That was a pretty dramatic slow-mo effect there, not gonna lie. This is Cooper Blooper. He's not too bad. Um... It's a little gruesome. We actually have to rip his arms off, if that makes any weird sense here. Um... I'll see if I can maybe demonstrate his attacks here in a minute, but... If you just rip his front two off, his other two are not gonna get a chance to attack at all, which is definitely what you're gonna want to aim for. And whenever he's done like that, yeah, so he'll try and swipe you there. Um, I think he'll try and attack me with his other arm there, yeah. And you can't grab his thing when it's slippery like that either. Um, he'll try and attack you with all of his arms here. Um, I think he also has a spin attack as well that he likes to do here as well. Um... He doesn't do anything, though, if you're just... Yeah, if you yank his top two off, he doesn't really do anything. So when you kind of learn that, he's not that bad, honestly. I just wasn't really that great as a kid, so yeah. A lot of this world, I was inaccessible to even going after. 
I'm gonna say it right off the bat. When I was a kid, actually, this was the last world I completed. <laughs> it's kind of funny that way. There's some kind of tricky missions coming up, though, so... Let's just collect our shine and get on with it. Episode 2 is Blooper Surfing Safari. Let's go surfing now, everyone's learning how. Come on a safari with me. This mission's pretty fun. I actually like this mission quite a lot. Um, and there's a couple of things I can talk about with this mission here. Uh, with this guy here... That's right, I'm Big Daddy of Blooper Surfing. I like surfing, hop on a blooper and give it a whirl. One thing, Big Daddy waves... Why is he calling himself Big Daddy? Now, yeah, hang loose, bud. So... There's kind of three things, three bloopers here, and all of these are different. They have different stats. The green one is probably the one you'll always want to pick because it has the best handling there, but it's technically the slowest, but I say technically, more on that in a minute. You have the yellow one, which is kind of the standard one, but is a little harder to control, and then this purple one is really fast, but um, has the worst handling. But here's the thing. I'm gonna pick... I'll pick yellow, I guess, here. Um, it's a little heavy to steer, but if you hold up, you can increase the speed here. And this is the fastest all these bloopers will go if you do this. And... Um, all of them have that same boosted speed. Wanna go for a ride, bud? I'ma take you for a ride. I'ma take you for a ride. Oh, I'm so excited that game's getting a re-release sometime soon. Um, at least this year anyways. Um, so yeah. Um, they all have the same top speed when you're going that, like, holding up way. Like, this here is the fastest they'll go, so... You'll pretty much always want to pick green no matter what, because it has the best handling and this is the fastest they'll go. It doesn't really matter which color you pick there, so... Yeah, that's definitely what you're going to want to do as a kid. Or, as, as a kid. Um, this mission's pretty cool, though. I do like this mission quite a lot. Um, I believe this one you want to beat it in under 50 seconds, I think, I want to say. And there you go, you get a Shine Sprite. 50 seconds will pretty much be guaranteed to beat it, and something I really like about this area, too, is that even though there's literally nothing here, uh, you can actually kind of, like, up and explore this whole area on foot if you want. Nothing here at all for you, but it's neat, all things considered. I always did really like the look of this area. I would have hidden a secret up here easily, but there's nothing here, unfortunately. And, on top of that, if we go back in this area again, wanna go for a ride, bud? I sure do, because, you may have guessed it, there is another shine spray we get from here. This is where the first secret shine of the level is. Um, every world has two secret shine sprites, but not every world will have, like, two secret areas. Bianco Hills just happen to have two of them. And those ones are always, like, tied to, the, tied to, like, the secret shines, but sometimes some worlds will have, um, a secret shine that's not tied to a bonus area. If you're in the water, you can jump over some of these patches here, and you don't have to do that, but, and it is tricky, because if you hit a wall, you actually do lose a life, but you'll want to beat this in under 40 seconds, because there is just another Shine Sprite we can get from that. You're the man! I'm so impressed that I want you to have one of these. Well, sure, I will take one of these. Very much so, good sir. Very much. And let's go ahead and do another mission, why not? Oh, 
Alright, mission three, the Cage Shine Sprite. Another one of my favorite missions in the game here. This one's just so fun. Big area to explore here. Just really fun level. Really, really fun level. Um, There's a lot of different ways you can go about doing this one here. Your idea is to kind of get in the middle here to go up to the... into where the cage is there. Um... A lot of different ways you can kind of go here. I'm kind of starting to go the intended way, but there's a lot of different pathways you can go with this one. Um... So, yeah. Head up this way. Uh, hopefully I can make that pull there, which indeed we did. Um, I'm gonna say... I don't know, I'll find this out here. There's, there's so much of me that's, like, just wanting to go, like, the crazy, like crazy pathways and things like that that you can do, but I'm kind of taking this the intended way here. You can easily just jump off the top of that smokestack and, like, end up here no problem. Um, I think we can also find the rocket nozzle up here, too. I know we passed by a hologram one, but I'm pretty sure the real deal rocket nozzle is, like, just up here somewhere. Yeah, like, I just made a huge jump there. Uh, yes indeed, if you go over this way, check it out. There is, in fact, a rocket up here. I almost just fell down there. Like I said a couple of videos ago, <clears throat> um, we'll have the rocket for this level here, and as you see, that, that former hologram box is now active. This area can be a little tricky just with some of these tornadoes here, but we're pretty near the end here once you get up this way. Not sure what happened there. I'm okay, that was a little weird, but just gotta go up here and slide down this way. Sure, why not? And there we go. That's our Shine Sprite. We have 15 of these things now. Not too bad. And yeah. With all that being said, next time, we'll continue on with Rico Harbor. I'll see you guys for that then. Have yourselves a great day, and peace out.